What's going on guys? I'm Lawrence Owen. This is Colts Law. Welcome back to another film room. This film room will be going over Shane Steichen's play designs. What we have seen, what we can expect, without any question, obviously, it's only been two weeks that we've seen his play designs for the Indianapolis Colts, so there's still plenty more we have yet to see, but obviously there is a bunch to break down, especially this past week against the Houston Texans. Let's take a look at the film and see exactly what Shane Steichen provides play calling wise for your Indianapolis Colts. All right, very first play of the game. I'm going to give it up. Now, this is, it looks normal. And I'll tell you what, I was incredibly surprised as I dove into this. This is actually an incredibly well-designed play by Shane Steichen here. As we watch, let's just watch the play unfold real quick first. And, all right, you, first off, I'm sorry. I stopped it and didn't even do it. Look. There's Will Anderson, the only quarterback pressure and hit he gets the entire game. The entire game. One mess up right here by our offensive line. Will Anderson from this point on, gone. He's out of it. That's awesome. Just wanted to point that out first off. All right. But, man, oh, man. Now, obviously, this ball ends up fumbling all the way out of bounds. Colts keep the football. Got lucky on that play. But what I want to show right here. As we get back, watch the design on this play. Oh, my goodness. All right, so this ball, first off, you got a drag route right here by Michael Pittman Jr. And you got both tight ends. You got a drag by this tight end, and you got a, a inside and then cut back right, right here, right? Little, little hitch right here. Now, your running back, on the other hand, is running a fly down the seam or down the sideline here. What this play is designed to do is create confusion right here. You got guys coming off at the same place and another guy. So there's a lot of traffic right here. Now you're going to get some rubs. You're going to get a lot of rub. Now you, you've heard this multiple times, a lot of rub routes. There's going to be a lot of rubs and there is a big rub here. Big rub. As we watch, watch the linebacker that's covering right here on the running back. Boom. Oops. Dude, this is this is a touchdown pass. If Will Anderson wasn't in the face and forced him to throw this football before he was ready to, which by the way, with a pressure in his face, the delivery to uh Michael Pittman Jr. is gorgeous. You know, good good movement here. He has to because of all the wash here, the guy covering him has to go out wide. So he's going to be open as well. But look, my goodness, if he had time, literally, just to look, this pass to Zach Moss goes for monster yards. The only person that would be able to touch him is the safe, the single high safety. What? Yeah. But even with pressure in his face, taking the big hit, the delivery by Anthony Richardson, beautiful right there. Um, that was a beautiful way. Of creating a lot of traffic. The Colts know where they were going. The Texans didn't. Created a lot of uh, rubbing. A lot of a lot of guys running into each other. And created separation. Between the corner. And the wide receiver. Beautiful. Beautiful play design. By Shane Steichen. Alright here's a play that's got a lot of moving parts. And it's going to take. A lot. From your quarterback. To basically dissect everything that's happening in a short span of time. First off, you got to find out, is this man or zone? Well, as we watch, as the tight end comes across and you see the linebacker come out with him, you know this is man coverage. Now, the question is, who is on who, right? Who is on who? Is the safety on the tight end or is this linebacker on the tight end, right? Most likely, this linebacker is your quarterback spy. Because when you got Anthony Richardson, it pays to have a, a spy when you're running a man defense. Because you want somebody keeping an eye on the quarterback at all times. So, what this play does is, 
you got two drag routes getting ready to happen. You got Kylan Granson that's going to drag out here. You got Downs that's going to drag out here. The key play. Now, what what it does is on the on the two drags. If these if this linebacker is covering him, and this corner is covering him, and they drag across, that's going to free up one of these two dudes. That's going to cover up one of those two guys. Right, without any question, because that's a rub route, specially designed by two drags coming in at each other opposite directions. But if this safety is covering him, well, how do you get him out of the play? Well, let's watch. Let's watch. You run a pick. <laughs> you run a pick route. You run a pick route with Michael Pittman Jr. He's running straight out. At the safety. The safety is the one that's technically covering Kylan Granson. Watch Michael Pittman run a route. Now, you're allowed to run your route as long as it does not look like you are specifically trying to pick a defender off to create separation for another guy. Okay? So, technically, this could be a penalty. This could be a penalty. But, if it's run smoothly enough to where it doesn't look like he's intentionally trying to pick him, which it does, because as soon as he makes the contact, he turns around. Looks like he does his route proper. Looks like he does his route proper. But the problem is, that frees up Kylan Granson big, big time. Gets him wide open. That is a beautiful, beautiful play design by Shane Steichen. All right. Great man defense beating play design when you got a guy like Anthony Richardson you're going to use his legs occasionally you're going to have plays specifically designed for Anthony Richardson to run and this one is absolutely beautiful all right you got a you got a quarterback that runs a 4 4 40 okay you're expecting him absolutely to be able to outrun any linebacker out there okay absolutely freaking lootly so this play design you're running a pretty heavy left wing formation, right? Pretty heavy left wing formation. You got a guy that's going to be running what looks like this play here. Let's let's go ahead and hit play. Oh, no. No. Oh, that was such a beautiful block right there by Michael Pittman Jr. and Kylan Granson. Wow, what a play. What a play. Now, going back this is beautiful for for two reasons, all right? This is absolutely gorgeous for two reasons. One, motioning him will get, as you watch, that corner out of the way. This corner has to follow him just in case the handoff actually happens. At that point, there's only two defenders you got to beat. And all you need is two blocks. Kylan Granson's over here. Yes, he's a tight end. He's on the left side. But my goodness, utilize the some of the best features of your players, right? Shane Steichen is doing that by utilizing the fact that not only is Kylan Granson a tight end, but he is incredibly fast and a very good blocker. And so is Michael Pittman Jr. So you're going to end up having two of your best offensive weapons who are also good blockers out front blocking on this on this play. Bam. There is Michael Pittman Jr. This guy here saw the run. Saw the run. He's going straight after. Look what happens to this defender. Michael Pittman Jr. just boom. Blasted. He's done. Now, all you need is Kylan Granson to put hands. All you need is Kylan Granson to put hands on. No one slows down. Bam. Granson gets him. Shoves him out of the way. Just shoves it. Just shove him all the way out there. There you go. All you had to do was get hands on him. And it's a free ride. Now, good job by the safety coming in. But again, the safety started single high. Right? Single high. There's no way he was getting there in time. That is a beautiful play design. Again, 
This time, a run utilizing the strengths of your personnel you have on the field. Okay? Shane Steichen is a wizard. Again, oh my goodness. All right, first off, this was kind of lucky to have this play call against this defense. But it's beautifully done because, first off, as you're seeing, this is single high, right? They're not disguising at all. Ball is snapped, right? Let's keep an eye. Everybody. Now, he, he slips. What? He slips. Hmm. How does that happen? Doesn't matter. He's looking. They, they were all looking in the backfield, right? All of them. They're all watching the backfield. And if you keep an eye on what he does when the ball is snapped, watch. He's heading out. He's cutting in, right? That's his zone. So it doesn't matter. You got Will Mallory on the other hand. You cut it back some. Will Mallory up close. Out here wide. You got the best deep threat on the team, supposedly, in Alec Pierce. Single high safety. In this zone coverage. Right? So he, you know he, he's going to have to make a decision if you got two deep routes going. If you have two deep routes, he has to make a decision. Who are you going to cover? Who are you going to cover? Right? He don't know. He needs to keep an eye over here, but he's scared of him. And this is a beautiful corner route ran by Will Mallory. You know he ain't going to miss that. That is gorgeous. Perfect corner route. Get away. Move away from the single high safety because you had the faster wide receiver on the outside. He has to kind of play it safe because, you know, deep threat. My goodness. So wide open. So wide open. That is a good play against single high. I don't know if that was called in or what, but holy cow. I don't know. Maybe there was a different play call, but when they saw the defense, you know, the ball, they lined up, maybe. Shane Steichen might have seen this and then, Maybe told him, I don't know. I didn't see a whole lot of talking or movement. It's just, we're going to do this, right? Because this is perfectly played. And he looks, he never looks in that direction. Never looks in that direction. He looks here, then he looks here. And that's it. It's a perfect play call for this safety single high to have your speedster out here and then slip your tight end behind your zone coverage. That is trying to protect that first down line. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Again, designed as a rub route. Now, here's something here that I want to talk about. This will be my last breakdown. Now, Shane Steichen didn't break out a whole bunch of nifty stuff in this game in the second half. Most of it was in the first half. I've got a feeling that after this touchdown, it was a situation where he didn't want to show any more of his, you know, special plays uh, in the playbook. He went very vanilla, okay? This is a basically vanilla as well. However, again, you're utilizing your best attributes of your players, and on this play, you got right here, obviously, Alec Pierce, Kylan Granson. This is a beautiful situation where Granson, very fast, very deceptively fast for a tight end. But when you're going to run this, go ahead and run your pick. Go ahead and run your little pick to kind of help try to free up your very, very fast guy. You're on the right hash mark. You put Granson on the left side of the line, and you get him to come out. Get him to come out. You figure with a little help of a rub or a pick and Granson's speed, he should be able to beat because there's no one out here, obviously, covering anybody, right? So we get a look at the play. First things first, he comes up. He's in the way. That automatically creates separation. He's going to have to go around 
He has to go around, which automatically puts him behind. That takes away the angle of his route that he wants to take. Because he wants to go this way. Now he's got to go around and actually be, be behind Kylan Granson. Right? He had to slow down, let for him get behind him. Bam. Now you just lead Granson out there. Could have been a little bit faster of a ball. That, that ball would have got out there a little. Had that been Anthony Richardson launching that football, there wouldn't even been a tackle on this play. There wouldn't have even been a an extension by Granson to make a great play at the end. It would have just been there, touchdown, game done, yes. But that is my film room breaking down all of what I consider to be some of the best plays that Shane Steichen rolled up against the Houston Texans week two of the NFL season. Now, please don't forget to smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. Tag that notification bell. I will be dropping a film room on my Patreon. It'll be Patreon only as well, right? So you can join Patreon for only $5 a month. Right in the link in the description of the video. Until next time, I'm Lawrence Owen. This is Colts Law. And as usual, I want you to have a good one.